tonight. Facing extinction, Tiger passengers take to rail as a cloud hangs over the flyer's future. They said Tiger didn't work, it was grounded, so I had to take the train. A Listerfield family still out in the cold, months after hail ruined their home. The ceiling collapsed. And sounds promising. Newborns to be screened for hearing problems. This is the 10 Evening News with George Denikian. Good evening. First tonight, the Tiger Airways boss has refused to say when his planes will be back in the air. He claims the company is committed to operating in Australia, but many believe the damage has already been done. Tiger's terminal is empty. Its future is looking bleak. Sorry, Tiger. I won't be flying you guys again. Chelsea Jansen, 10 News. Still to come, more human contact with the deadly Hendra virus. And take two, the lavish religious wedding for Monaco's newest princess. Gold Coast Suns debutant, uh, Will, uh, Joel Wilkinson, last Saturday. Sounds like it's time for you, Ian. Here's Sports Tonight. Thanks very much, George. Back to the top level and the Magpies fly high over the Hawks. James Hurd credits Mark Thompson for the Bombers' upset win against the Cats. A new champ at Wimbledon and Cadell Evans survives the carnage to be just three seconds off the pace after day one of the tour. <laughs> Good evening. Collingwood has reaffirmed its position as Premiership favourite with a crushing 41-point win over top four rival Hawthorne at the MCG. Travis Cloak led the way with three goals, while for the Hawks, Luke Hodge had 40 possessions. Ready to celebrate their skipper's milestone match, the Pies withstood an early Hawk attack. A crack at a third Cox plate. But, George, what a stunning horse. That's all for sport. Thank you very much, Ian. I'll be back, of course, with the weather for you and hitting the mark. The team on target for a fundraising world record bid. And Wednesday, and very cold too, just a top of 12. That's the weather forecast for you, and that's the news for the moment. Uh, thanks for watching. I will have updates throughout the evening. Mal and Helen back again tomorrow at 5. Good night.